Okay, once we get this all the financial statements information uh, from the 10K, 10K uh, of year, uh, the chosen company, uh, where we found this consolidated statement of the operation, I say, yeah, explaining all the sales and cost of sales expenses and uh, the net incomes and uh, the consolidated balance sheet. And then we just attach it that uh, uh, financial statement. And then once we gather this uh, the financial statements, we need to uh, fill out all the input variables, right? Input variables to calculate capital investment, operating cash flows, and changes in net operating working capital, and project cash flows, finally project valuation using this of four investment criteria, discounted payback period, net present value, interim rate of return, and profitability index, right? We want to identify how much this investment in plant and equipment of Apple, 39 uh, two, uh, billion and $440,000, uh, 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 440 million dollars of this property and plant equipment, right? How much value of it is. So we need to calculate this input variables, right? And then should be explained in the water part, how to get it, and then why it should uh, this number is, right? B. And then investment in plant and equipment, as I explained, where do you get it? Right, the proper plant equipment. We want to, now we want to uh, justify how much this, uh, the, the proper plant equipment is valuable, right? Useful life of the plant equipment is five years. Where do I get it? Yeah, I got that information uh, from the 10K. 10K, right? Then if you type depreciation, and then you get all this depreciation information. And then the between one to five years of equipment, blah, blah, blah. And then you found that uh, the information from your uh, chosen company 10k as well right and then I found five years depreciation expense you can just uh, you use the step line method right so 39 billion divided by five so I found right I found the depreciation is seven uh, billion eight hundred eighty eight the, the yield basis now the revenue attributable, attributable to the PPNE T0 basis 2021 is 41 billion dollars. How do you get it? Right, I got it from uh, the net sales 365 billion dollars in 2021. And then the proportion of this long term asset, property plant and equipment out of a total asset, right? Because the property plant and equipment out of a total asset contribute this net sales by the proportion of this property plant equipment out of total asset. You guys understood? Right. And then the revenue grows the 5%. The company want to grow their sales once they use this property plant equipment and produces like all kind of inventory. In, 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 in Apple cases, they produce this service and the Apple, uh, the products, and then they sell. Uh, by using a lot of ad advertisement and then researches many 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 investment right so I assume this five percent based on some research you need to find a why why this five percent uh, should be applied in this model uh, from your research okay so this all the input hard input should be right they explained on the word file as well cost of sales percentage of sales now right net sales and cost of sales percentage of sales right we will apply this percentage of sales into the operating cash flow section in the same way all the expenses now the research and development and SGNA selling and general selling general and administration in terms of sales because the, in the vertical analysis, the sales is the base, right? The top, the highest, the greatest number in the income statement. Tax rate, we can calculate the tax rate uh, from 10K as well. For example, on the 10K, once you type down tax rate, 
and then we found the tax rate 13.3% right if you found your tax rate minus and then you can use an, uh, other tax rate of the recent years right so here I found the 13.3% or I can directly calculate the tax rate uh, from the income statement the statement of operation right next net operating working capital attributable uh, to the PPNE is calculated by this proportion of the property plant equipment out of a total asset of this operating working capital. How do you calculate operating working capital? Right, the current asset minus current liabilities. So we got the operating working capital that requires uh, to run uh, their operations, right? And then proportion of this property plant and equipment because we want to only extract extract only the current asset minus current liability related to the plant and equipment attributions right so we calculate this net operating working capital in this way and then we found the net operating working capital attributed to property plant equipment in terms of percentage of sales in terms of percentage of sales by dividing the revenue, right? Attributable to PPNE as well. Understood, right? Finally, we set all these info variables as well as this info variables of the WAC. Now, investment in fixed asset. We have the three components of calculating project cash flows, right? So the operating cash flows, uh, capital investment, and the changes in the operating working capital is three components. Let's assume that the company don't, uh, doesn't sell uh, this initial investment. And then this amount we put here, and then there's no other investment, right? There's no other investment. Again, there definitely there is the investment. Every year, every year the company purchase uh, the the new uh, fixed asset and then some yeah sometimes they sell off uh, this fixed asset but we assume that what is actual value of the 39 billion or uh, 440 million dollars uh, the plant and equipment asset right so let's just assume the company purchased this invest the fixed asset to identify how much value of it is this should be now the negative right then there's no other investment now operating cash flows generated by uh, the, the the plant and equipment the revenue is zero now we start from here right that revenue is not the revenue of in full amount of the revenue in the statement of operation because we want to extract only the net revenue attributable to the investment in plant and equipment. And that cost of the sales is the percentage here, percentage here, now we got it, right? Now I want to just fix this percentage in order to use in the next year and times, right, the revenue, got it? So 23 billion. And then gross margin is just the difference between two. And then the R and the expense is also, right, this percentage. I want to fix, wrap this cell times, right, the revenue. And then I got this amount of the, uh, the R and the expense at the to the, uh, to the, 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 the PPNA. Again, this is at the only the PPA, right? And then SGNA expense also here six percent. I calculate fix this cell times the revenue part. And then profit before tax is gross margin minus R and D minus SGNA, right? We got it. We don't need to calculate the tax or the the add back depreciation operating cash flows in uh, zero 
point because this is not the operating cache flows, right? We are using operating cache flows for the future, right? These five years of projections. But we are going to start this, uh, the, the revenue and all the operating cash flows to generate, to make these five years of revenue and all the expenses, right? Now, let's develop this operating cash flows for the projected years. This revenue now will be increased by 5% from your research, right? And then I want to fix this 5%. And then let's drag to the right. And then I got this, uh, the revenue projected. And then cost of sales is now I found, right? We can just correlate and then drag it to the right so that all this uh, cost of sales and each year projection is now correspond the cost of sales of 58 percent this cost of sales in terms of percentage of sales of the year uh, doesn't change much in uh, every project year because that explains the business model business structure of the company and then let me just drag also drag to the right once I put all this right equation, fixing uh, this research development in terms of the percentage of the sales of the year, and then I can just drag to the right. As a GNA, I said as well, the same. Okay, finally, the tax amount. How do we calculate tax uh, from tax before the, the, the profit before tax? Okay, times tax rate. Okay, let's just fix this tax rate as well uh, so that when I drag it to the right, all this tax amount in projected years now automatically generated. Then we need to add back depreciation. Why? Because depreciation was not actual cash out, but we considered the depreciation in this R&D expense or the SGNA expense. So we need to add back depreciation. Then, where is the depreciation? Right, we calculate here, right? So I want you to fix so that when I drag it to the right, all this amount now is expanded uh, to the uh, five years projections. Finally, the EBIT tax, oh, minus tax, just cash out. And then we need to add back the depreciation let me just drag it to the right so that we got all this operating cash flows. Finally, net operating working capital. Net operating working capital, how do you calculate it? Okay. Here, we calculate percentage, right? Also, let's just fix this 2.6% times, right, percentage of sales. And then uh, we got uh, the net operating working capital in terms of percentage, right? And then let's just drag it to the uh, right side. And then the cash flows of the changes, net operating working capital. Let's assume that we invested this operating working capital in at the beginning, and then it is increased, right? When we increase this, the operating working capital, that means that this amount is minus, right? And then let's drag to the right. But you have to be careful at the end of year five, always is zero, because this property plant and equipment doesn't have any value, then uh, you will uh, retrieve all the working capital at the end of the year. So there's no uh, the reserved operating working capital at the end of this project, okay? Then the project cash flows. How to calculate the project cash flows? Now it's very easy because we got all this number, which is cash flows. And then 
let's just drag it to the right. That is projected cache flows. And then the present value of the projected cache flows is calculated. This amount divided by one plus now the weighted average cost of capita that what uh, that we calculated and then I want to fix this weighted average cost of capita and to the power of current year right and then when I drag it to the right side and then all these numbers now has uh, the present value right and the present value now also present value of each uh, the year present year discounted by weighted average cost of capital. Cumulative fund, this 40,491 is now reduced by the positive number, right? Positive free cash flows. Then some, uh, the, the, some like days between year two and year three, it turns to the positive, right? So discount the payback period, how to calculate it? Year two plus, I want to remove this minus, right? Because what we want to calculate is some date uh, between year two and year three, divided by the present value of project cash flows. And then it takes uh, like 2.41. This initial investment 40,491 turns to the positive in 2.41 years, right? And then net present value, net present value, how to calculate? MPV, open the parenthesis, and then the discount rate, which is weighted average cost of capital. The value is the projected cash flows that what we calculate, right? And then plus this negative initial cash outlay. Then we got net present value of this uh, the, the investment in plant and equipment. And then internal rate of return. We want to also identify if this internal rate of return is greater or lower than the weighted average cost of the capital, required rate of return or the discount rate, right? So IRR, open the parenthesis, value including the initial cash outlay, and then all the projected cash flows. We found a 39.97%, which is very high, right? Very high. Higher than this weighted average cost of capital or discount rate or required rate of return of this uh, the project, investment project. So we got 39.97%, so much profitable, right? This investment in property plant equipment is generating so much profitable uh, the cash flows for five years of useful life of this asset. Proper plant and equipment is also the same way the MPV, now the rate, which is discount rate of this project, and comma, drag to the projected cash flows, and divided by, now initial cash outlay, but we want to remove minus because what we want to calculate is the index. There's no index, minus index, right? So we found 1.97. That means that, oh, this initial investment of the proper plant equipment and net operating working capital, which means uh, all the project cash flows at the current time, initial cash outlay 40,491 40, is producing almost a double, double net present value of uh, the future cash flows, right? So that explains the profitability as well. And then you will explain this, the investment criteria into your work, uh, the file of your chosen company. Okay, that's all. Nice to see you. Bye-bye.